Over the course of the events in your story, your characters are required to encounter a number of obstacles and endure a great deal of conflict. The purpose of these events is to motivate your character to force change and undergo their character arc. The plot of your story is the way in which you organize these events in order to maximize their impact on the audience's experience. The first step in creating your story is to create a through line. A through line is a one sentence summation of what happens in your story. The first element of a good through line is your characters. Your characters are who the audience makes a connection with and follows through your story. Once your characters have been established, a catalyst is introduced. A catalyst gives your characters a new set of goals and forces them into conflict. The majority of your story is spent with your characters pursuing these goals and encountering conflict-causing and change-inducing obstacles along the way. It helps to think of your through line like an equation. Characters encounter a catalyst and endure conflict. Once you have developed your through line, it acts as a foundation for the rest of your plot. But plot is simply a way to organize the scenes in your visual story. Scenes are made up of three basic elements. Characters, locations, and events. When your characters encounter an event, or a series of events, in a single location, it adds up to an entire scene. When these scenes are put together, one after another, you end up with your entire visual story. A good scene achieves two things. First, it provides the audience with an emotional experience. But while your audience is having this emotional experience, they also need to be provided with context. When every scene gives the audience the specific emotional response required by the story, and gives the audience the context they need in order to understand the subsequent scenes, you are using compelling scenes to create an effective plot. The way we organize our scenes is dictated by three-act structure. Three-act structure is a system that breaks your story down into three parts, or acts, which help you organize what happens when in your visual story. The scenes in Act 1 show the audience the status quo of your world. In other words, who your characters are, their current situation, and how they relate to each other. At the end of Act 1, your catalyst is introduced. This catalyst gives your characters new goals and forces them into Act 2. Act 2 is about the characters undergoing their character arc. Through the course of Act 2, the characters face a series of escalating obstacles. As the characters overcome these obstacles by forcing change, they raise the stakes in your story and increase the audience's tension. Act 2 culminates in the climax. The climax is the moment in your story when the stakes are as high as they can possibly be. This is the moment when the character has to choose whether he is going to remain the character he has been throughout the whole story or change and embrace his character arc. Once a character has come to a decision to change, he has to face his final obstacle in order for the conflict to be resolved. Once the conflict is resolved, we transition into Act 3, or the new status quo. The new status quo is the shape of the world after the characters have undergone their arc and fundamentally changed either themselves or their world. 
When watching a visual story, consider the following. What is the through line of the story? When do each of the acts of the story begin and end? How are the events of the story arranged so that the audience is provided the most powerful emotional experience while being provided with all of the necessary context?